There are several class action and individual lawsuits against the manufacturers of Wellbutrin and Zoloft. Plaintiffs say they believe the drugs cause birth defects. Attorney Jim Higgins recently talked to Christy Hafner about the claims. Take a look. Well, Attorney Jim Higgins is here with us, and today we are talking about the lawsuit that involves Wellbutrin and Zoloft. Talk to me about that. Yeah, there is uh, a lot of lawsuits and litigation pending regarding these two antidepressants. Mm -hmm. And what is at the core of the lawsuit is we believe that the uh, antidepressants may cause birth defects. So women that took these drugs while pregnant, uh, they're showing up some heart uh, uh, deformation for the, for the children. Mm -hmm. uh, these children are often having to have surgery. They're often having to have lifetime care. So what's happened is there's lawsuits that's been filed all over the country. We have some here in Tennessee. Uh, we are they are all kind of pushed together right now. Most of them mm -hmm. in Pennsylvania. And what's going on is kind of a discovery process to find out what's wrong with the drug. Um, <coughs> Pfizer is the manufacturer. We mm -hmm. want to know. Did Pfizer know that there was a potential problem with this drug? If so, when did they know it? They came out with a warning, but was that warning timely? And uh, we're trying to see if there is some help out there for some of these children or women that took the drug during the pregnancy. Now, if a woman did take the drug during pregnancy, what do they need to do? Well, you know, some women did so and had a child with absolutely no complication. So there's no reason just to panic because you see something like this or read about in the paper. Uh, but the first thing is, is you want to go talk to your physician and you know they will check and make sure that your child's okay if you if you don't you know already know that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's always the first stop in any of these drug cases is just to make sure you're not one of the people or your child's not one of the persons that's been affected by it. If you have been, then you know, really, you just would contact an office like our office that handles these matters. Uh, we would start by getting your uh, medication records, getting your medical records. Uh, we have experts that look at the cases. They'll determine if, if it is a case that, that we feel fits uh, a pattern or a mold mm -hmm. that, that this has come out. They'll look at other risk factors that may be out there, uh, smoking, things like that. And so it's really a matter of just gathering the information. And if it is a, if you do have a case for taking one of these antidepressants, uh, then it would be filed. It would go through the multi-district mm -hmm. litigation and, and we would just start litigating that to determine if there's some uh, money out there to help you through these health problems your child's going to have. All right. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. The Higgins Firm is serving Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-353-0930. Again, that number is 353-0930. For more info and a link to their website, HigginsFirm.com, go to BetterNashville.com.